Good morning guys. Today we're going to be working on this 2012 Sierra Denali. It's had a really tricky oil leak going on, just a small seepage, you know, a drop here and there every once in a while. And I thought it was the uh, rear main seal, possibly valve cover gaskets at first, but then I thought, no, it's not that because I looked and everything was dry. But So then I was thinking rear main seal, and I'll show you why here in a second. But um, come to find out, it's actually the oil cooler lines. This is a 2012 Denali with the 6.2 liter, and it's got the oil cooler. And uh, I'll actually show you where it's leaking on the oil cooler line assembly. So here's the oil cooler line assembly, and where it's leaking from is actually this fitting right here, this Allen key fitting. Now, I haven't tried to tighten up the one that's on the truck right now i really don't want to shave down a allen wrench to do so if it's just going to come loose again so we're going to go ahead and replace this line today and uh i'll show you guys what i'm talking about with the leak looking kind of suspicious you just, it's it's just hard to tell where it's coming from once i zeroed it into this oil cooler line block i was thinking it was leaking out of the lines the hard lines coming out of the top of it but that's not it it's actually leaking out of this guy so to do this job we're going to have to remove these two bolts we're going to actually cut the lines on the old unit to remove it and uh we'll have to replace both these hard lines into the radiator where it goes into the cooler so the hard lines are coming in right here, right there and down there below. They shouldn't be too difficult. And then we've got a mounting bolt. Let me see if I can zoom into that. I've got a mounting bolt. Where is it? There it is. It's that guy right down there. Not this one on the top, but this one way down there. This is the other little mounting bolt I was trying to point to earlier. It's pretty easy to get to. And there's our oil cooler line block there right above the oil filter. So there's some leakage right there on that silver uh, bell housing inspection plate. There's some leakage right next to the oil pan plug. And you can see a little drip right there, right there. Now this oil, like I said, is leaking from this guy right here I know it is I've wiped everything clean everything dry and that is the first place to show signs of seepage so let's go ahead and remove these two bolts and this other bolt right here and we'll let that go ahead and drain out into our bucket and uh, once it drains you know for a while then we can cut off the flexi part of the hose right up there and uh, disconnect the top side and then we'll pull this bottom side out clean everything up and get ready for the reinstall of the new part so that's a total of five fasteners it shouldn't be too bad uh, it'll definitely be more difficult fishing the new line in versus cutting the old one at the flexible bits to remove it so Anyways, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so for our first bolt, we're going to need a 13 millimeter socket. And then for our cooler line block, 
we're going to need a 10 millimeter. I'll continue to take those out all the way and then we'll let it drain for a little while and then we'll come back to it. So now that the draining's just about finished, next step is to undo this clamp, this little hold down clamp. You need a pick, a little pick tool to get that undone. Now I'm gonna cut these two lines and let them go ahead and drain on out and we'll take them loose from the top side afterwards. You can grab your favorite sharp lawn shears. Go ahead and cut those suckers. And we're just gonna let them drain on out. Alright, so now it's time to undo these two lines from the cooler. Alright, so it's been a week of hard driving since we reinstalled this new oil cooler line. And it looks to be like there's some seepage going on up here, but that's actually just residuals from before the repair. So let's take a look at our oil filter. It's clean. That silver inspection plate on the bell housing's clean. And right here at the end, this is where the oil plug is. And there's nothing there either. So it seems like our mystery leak was coming directly from that threaded plug and I was able to tighten up the stock one just a little bit once I got it off and um, that's probably where the leak was coming from and not only there but on the stock line stock cooler lines where the hard line meets the flex line it was it had some seepage going on there nothing not enough to cause a drip but it was definitely going to be enough to uh, warrant changing that. So, anyways, yeah, week of hard driving later, and we're dry. Woohoo!